How's it going guys? This is Soul Singed here and today we're going to be talking about who I think is the worst rapper of all time, Kid Boo. Now Kid Boo is a 34 year old rapper who blew up a few years ago, 2018, 2019, kind of blew up during the dying stages of SoundCloud rap and he blew up as a 23 year old fresh on the scene young SoundCloud rapper who was just starting his career but nothing was further from the truth before we get into what I'm gonna be talking about which is Kid Boo's most recent album I'm just gonna quickly refresh your memory on how Kid, Blue, Kid Boo blew up what makes him one of the worst rappers and also what makes him a piece of shit human being so we're gonna do that then talk about his new album Cool? Cool. Kid Boo blew up not because of his music. He blew up because in an interview he claimed that he was cloned by a cloning co by a, a cloning facility in Canada. However, I was cloned by Clonate in Canada. Yeah, this little stunt made everyone sound off their bullshit alarms. BULLSHIT! So the internet, being the internet, decided to dig down and look into this Kid Boo rapper and try to find out just what's going on here because a normal, mentally stable human being does not come out and claim that they were cloned in a cloning facility in Canada. As it turns out, Kid Boo was not a 23-year-old rapper. He was actually in his early 30s. Kid Boo is not a fresh, new rapper on the scene. He had been making music for close to a decade, if not longer than that. He had songs dating back to 2013, but there's even been video found of him freestyling as early as 2009. So he's been making music almost a decade prior to his blow up as Kid Boo. He went by the name Humongous the God back then. He just changed his name and tried to bury his past. But why, you may ask, why would he want to bury his past so badly? What is so bad about Kid Boo's past? Well, looking into it, turns out he has criminal charges, and those charges are armed robbery and child abuse. And yes, it is true that Kid Boo does have a daughter that no one knows about and Kid Boo kind of refuses to acknowledge, but the child abuse charges are actually brought up against him because he beat his, at the time, underage girlfriend. She was 17, and I think he was 18 or 19. So yeah, I mean, I, I, that's arguably... I don't know if that's worse or just as bad, but yeah, the child, he didn't abuse his actual child. He probably likely never has even seen his actual child, but the child abuse charges are because he beat up his underage girlfriend. Domestic abuse, everyone. What a, what a real winner we got here. And instead of owning up to all them saying, you know, I did that, but I'm a changed man. He decides to fake everything and lie about it. Now, at the time he blew up, musically, no one really cared. No one really cared about his music because they were all focused on the clone story and all the BS surrounding his name. But he had two songs that were getting attention for all the wrong reasons. Those songs were Death to SoundCloud, which just sounds like Audi by Smoke Perp. She thought my was a that bitch, no dish, no rape stars on my roof. Look like space, diamonds on my rollie. Bro, bitch, I'm straight, ho, he nuts. I don't want friends, I want Audis. Smoking on booth in his Maui. I check that bitch like I'm Maury. Sorry, bitch. And the other was Dead Roses, which is a near identical copy of Wanted You by Nav. Ain't no heart up on my shoulder, ooh. Dead that hoe like roses, ooh. She won't ride up in my coupe, cause I got stars in my roof. Yeah. All this ice, I need a freezer, mm. whip it up, back beat her, mm. whip it up to see her, says she love me, don't believe her. Mm. So musically, Kid Boo just copies other rappers, and I don't mean in a way like Cochise or Lil Keed, you know, like Cochise is a Playboy Cardi clone, but kind of adds his own elements to it to make him stand out from Playboy Cardi, and Lil Keed uh, sounds, is, is basically a Young Thug clone. But Kid Boo would just try to copy whatever rapper is popular at the time. So if, for example, you know, recently Yeet has been blowing up, so Kid Boo has a lot of newer songs that is basically him copying Yeet. 
Kid Boo. You are a 34 year old man. Stop trying to sound like Yeet. But like I was saying, Kid Boo just copies whatever is popular. And it's not like he's taking inspiration, it's just straight up biting. And you can't even give it the excuse of, well it sounds good, because every time Kid Boo copies another rapper, he ends up sounding like the off-brand version. Fuck it, he's not even the off-brand version, he's the crackhead Craigslist version. He is the version you find on Wish. That is how bad of a job he does at copying these other artists. It's like, what is the point? Why would I listen to Kid Boo, who's copying Yeet, when I could listen to Yeet, who does that exact same style but 10 million times better? And that is why I personally believe that Kid Boo is the worst rapper to ever have the misfortune of spitting on a microphone. It's also hard to judge if Kid Boo is ever really on, because it's been proven that Kid Boo bought followers and would buy views and try to make himself appear larger than he actually was. So yeah, but without further ado, let's get into Kid Boo's brand new album. So first of all, his album is titled Blind for Love 4, A Perfect Love Letter. That sounds almost exactly like Trippy Red's series of albums, A Love Letter to You. Off to a great start, and also the cover art looks like a fan-drawn version of Eternal Take. We're already off to a bad start, so we're stealing the album title from Trippy Red, and we're stealing the artwork from Eternal Take. This is gonna be fun. Now, musically, this album has him mostly trying to sound like Playboy Cardi on Whole Lot of Red. If you want the rats, I hit the plugs and pass your house. If you want the smoke, I hit the slimes and break your house. I got the chance to go bump. There's also a handful of tracks of him trying to sound like Yeet. Dressed in all black, walking with the hammer. Dressed in all black, I'm Kanye at McGala. Feel like the And there's a good chunk of songs where he's trying to imitate Eternal Take style Uzi. Now, in all honesty, not every single track is terrible. In fact, there are actually three noteworthy tracks that are kind of good. The first one being On My Own, the intro track. Um, Sound-wise, it's pretty generic, but the lyrics are what stand out on this one. Shocking, I know. Kid Boo usually has some of the worst lyrics ever. But on this song, he actually addresses the fa the charges, which he's never done before, which is shocking that he actually addresses that, as well as some of the struggles he's faced as an artist and all that good stuff, which isn't anything that groundbreaking, but God damn it, it's something. The next track that stands out to me is Spit on Your Grave. Told her it might come someday, baby, don't be late. She says, I hate you so damn much, baby, we can relate. Now, this song is just your kind of typical generic uh, breakup song like oh you hate me well I hate me too but Kid Boo singing on this song and it's actually not bad usually his singing voice or his melodic style is very very bad he has to flood it out in a lot of auto-tune and distortion but here he's actually his vocals are kind of on point and he doesn't immediately sound like he's copying someone he might be copying another artist but off the top of my head, he doesn't really sound like he's copying anyone, and his singing is actually pretty decent too, and you can tell he's actually putting some feeling into it, he's actually putting some effort into it, whereas most of his songs just sound like he's trying to capitalize off of whatever's popular. So this is another song that I would actually consider good. It might be one of Kid Boo's best songs of all time. That's still, I'm not saying it's a, gr a, a good song, I mean, it is a good song, but it's not that great. It's just, compared to all the trash that Kid Boo usually puts out, 
It's one of his best songs. Bitch, I'm a star like astrology. Your best one ticket I give me, I give you. There is no reason to lie to me. Say that you hate me, but did I get fucked up? Now, the last track I want to talk about is Mr. Miyagi. And vocally, Kid Boo is just rapping exactly like Lil Uzi Vert did on most of Eternal to Take. So it's just him copying Lil Uzi. But I really, really fuck with the beat on this song. The only reason I find that song enjoyable is because of the beat. Speaking of which, one of the highlights of this project is the production. Um, there are, like, most of the production on this album is pretty nice. We even have some beats made by Filthy, who produced some beats for Whole Lot of Red, which has amazing production. So production-wise, this album's pretty solid. Now, that being said, what Kid Boo does with this uh, production is perplexing, because I know I just talked about the good songs, and for the most part, most of the other tracks aren't the worst things I've ever heard, but they're just incredibly, incredibly boring. Like, it's so hard to sit through this album. It's only 42 minutes, it's 19 tracks, but it's only 42 minutes long, and it's so hard to sit through and listen to the album. Like, you know a song is boring when you can listen to it, and as soon as the song's over, you've already forgotten what it sounds like. That's what a majority of this album is. But don't get me wrong, there are horrible songs on this. There are some songs that are genuinely god-awful. Now, the two songs that really stood out to me as being particularly god-awful are Red Diamond. If you want the rocks, I hit the plugs and pass your house. If you want the smoke, I hit the slimes and break your house. I got the chance to go bump. And the other one being Slat. Sipping on red and shit, not wine. Call me South Scots, I keep that iron. Shorty one fuck till I get in line. No team Nick, but a whip my slime. When I'm off of that bean, I'm a fuck like she mine. When it comes to the rest, I can't waste me no time. Red Diamond is... A it is Kid Boo attempting to do whole lot of Red Cardi and his voice sounds like nails on a chalkboard and the beat is just really really obnoxious and doesn't really fit the style that Kid Boo is going for it's just really really mishmashed together like the nails on a chalkboard vocals mixed with that obnoxious beat they don't fit together at all and it's just a goddamn train wreck now, Slat has a similar issue. The beat on Slat is fine. In fact, the beat kind of reminds me of something Deco would rap over. But I don't know what the fuck Kid Boo is doing on it. The vocals are so weirdly mixed. And they sound like they weren't even recorded for that song. Like, I, I truly believe that the vocals on Slat were recorded for a different beat. And just somehow got put on Slat. I don't know why. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. But it's not. Stop it. Stop it. Why is this auto-tuned? The, the auto-tune does nothing to help this. It just makes it worse. Why is it so weirdly mixed? Why are the vocals so loud? Why is the beat so quiet? Why is the song so fucking trash? Okay. Got that out of my system. Like I said, for the most part, most of the songs are just very, very bland, generic, and boring. Those two are ungodly and never should have been made, let alone released. They should have stayed locked up in the vault, never to see the light of day. But, overall, this album is pretty fucking terrible. It's not the absolute worst thing I've ever heard, but it's pretty bad. It's, it's pretty not good. It's very not good. And the, the last thing I want to mention, the last thing I kind of want to go on a tangent about is this line that Kid Buu has in Mr. Miyagi. No boy, I ain't fall off, I just took some time off. I ain't never fall off, I just took some time off. Motherfucker, you were never on. You only got a little bit of relevancy because you were acting like a weirdo, then you got exposed, then you fell off the face of the earth while you were still constantly releasing music. You fell off while you were making music. The hiatus you took, you had already fallen off. And then you fell off further when you took some time off and no one even knew this album came out. Like, bro, you was never on to begin with. 
the only reason you appear to relevant is because you're wasting all your money botting your followers and botting your views. Because whenever you wouldn't do that, your views were horrible. You can go on his YouTube channel. The music video for Misery News Company is sitting at 1.5 million views. His very next music video is sitting at only 100,000 views. Th that's not normal. And like I said, you had completely fallen off by the time you took this hiatus. You fell off damn near immediately. Bro, stop it. Your career is over. Stop it. You're 34 years old. You are a grown ass man trying to act like one of these teenage SoundCloud rappers. Stop it. Stop it. It's over. You're done. You're finished. Pack it up, go get a normal job, or something else because you was not making it as a rapper no more, my guy. You never made it as a rapper. You are not making a comeback. This album is not your comeback. And I know you're doing everything you can because you released the same goddamn album three times. Yes, there is the normal version, slow and reverb version, and then a reverse version for some reason. In case you want to listen to this hot ass in reverse, or want to listen to this hot ass slow down, there you go. I don't know why you would want to do that, because it would be like listening to shit, diarrhea, or vomit. No, None of them are appealing, they're all equally horrible, but yeah. That pretty much wraps up this review on Kid Boo, and now I can put Kid Boo in the dark recesses of my mind to never remember again until I occasionally come across any of his new music. Yeah, Kid Boo's new album. Though it's not really new, it's been out for like a month or something, but yeah, Kid Boo's newest album is fucking dog shit. Don't listen to it. Or if you have to listen to it, listen to the three songs that I praised earlier. But apart from that, don't don't even waste your time with it. And if you don't know who Kid Boo is, heed the intro of this video and you'll understand why he sucks so bad and why he is one of the worst rappers and a genuinely terrible human being so yeah that pretty much wraps up this video i will see you guys in the next one peace